Hey guys, my name is Donald. I'm Head of Customer Service here at Functional Solutions and welcome to another SmartSuite Basics video. In this session, I'll be going through our week three of the Scavenger Hunt competition um, that's sort of focused at your homepage. Um, I'll be going through adding um, your either a school library image or a school building image to your homepage, whether that's um, a block, as you can see in front of me, or setting your background um, to be, say, the school library. Okay, so let's jump in and have a look at how it's done. From your system menu, you want to click on page settings. Okay, you can see you're in page setting mode when you see the block options appear. Now, this template I'm running is a, a default template that we've created for you guys. Um, it already has an image on it that I can edit. So I'll show you how to edit that image. Uh, this will be helpful for anyone running this um, home page already. Uh, for those who aren't running a home page with an image, I'll show you how to add one as well. So the first thing you want to do is select the block that you want to change. You'll see some block settings appear here. Click on the cog and then you'll have um, some options to play with. Um, I'm going to click upload image and you'll get a pop-up appear. Select your image and then click open. See, that was, what, five seconds? Super simple to do. Um, hit save and away you go. That, that is now saved and anyone coming to your school library site or TV thread site will see that image appear there. Okay, so let's have a look at those settings again. You can adjust the image size if you want. So I can go extra large or extra, extra large. Um, I do suggest you double check the image that you're uploading first. As you can see, this is a poor quality image, so it doesn't show so great as such a large um, size. So keep that in mind when playing around with this. Um, better the image quality, better will look when it's set to the extra large size. I'm going to keep mine at medium. I think that looks great. Um, and then we can save that. Alrighty. So let's say you are running a template that does not have a image that you can edit. Let's show you how you can add your own. Okay, first thing I want to do is, um, once you're in page settings, hit the block button. Okay, you'll notice this at the top in your toolbar section, it's gonna be a single column, meaning just one block, no uh, separate blocks like this one. Okay, it'll add it to the bottom of your page. Okay, what I wanna do is move it up a little bit so I can see it a little bit better. Might be a bit tricky because it's got no information in it okay but now I'm now sitting right below my original image so what I'm going to do is remove the original one so I just have my block so I'm going to select the block I'm going to tell the block what it's doing it's an information block and I want it to show an image okay so now it's got no image to show but if I click on my uh, cog again I can click upload image same steps as before. I'll select a different image this time, and there's my new image. Okay, you can save that. You notice it has a white background. If you want to remove that, very simple. Again, page settings from your system menu. Click your block, config, and your background color. Set my transparency to zero. Okay, and then I'll hit save again. And there you go. Um, if you had an image that had a transparent background, so it's your own transparent, trans, can't even talk, transparent background, you'll be able to remove the white on that as well. All right, so that's how easy it is to upload your own image um, and create your own block to hold it. Um, now, what if you wanted to change the whole background to a say a large image of your school library um, I would have you quickly jump to the help page um, and just have a look at some of the settings that you need that image to be for it to show its best quality on as a background um, so if you don't know how to get to our help page from your menu support uh, search help okay that'll take you to this page 
Um, quickest way to find your background stuff is pretty much run a search. Okay, you're changing your background V3. We are in V4, so you want to be clicking changing your background on this one. Okay, um, now if we go down to the bottom, uh, there are requirements for your images that you're using. So just double check your image before you upload it. Um, you might be a bit disappointed if it doesn't look that good. So make sure that your um, uh, your settings for the image are um, better or matching these ones here. Let's jump back here. Now uh, we'll go back to page settings. Okay, hit config on your page. Find your background image. Click upload. I've got one here that's saved. Open. Okay, we'll just wait for that to upload. And there you have it. Our background has now been updated. I'll hit save, and you can see there my image there. Now it will repeat as it gets to the end of the background, so you can see I've got two there, but that looks pretty cool um, as a background there. Okay, you can also see that um, our theme colors don't fit with our background, so you can adjust those as well. I did that in a separate video last week. But I'll quickly show you that here. Again, page settings, config, and then you've got your skin color and theme color. Okay, so you want to be playing with these to adjust the text that appears. Alrighty. So that's adding a image as a block image, as well as your background. Um, so definitely jump in, have a play customize your home page I know lots of you guys have already done it and it's really awesome to see everyone's um, pages changing and, and, and just becoming so special towards you know, for their school um, I do uh, also want to like I, I've said it every video but if you can jump onto the FSI community so that you guys can see um, what other people are you know getting up to um, how they are adjusting their pages, um, jump in, ask them questions. If you're unsure how to get there from your system menu, click support and you have your FSI user community. Okay, that is a Facebook community. So if you don't have Facebook, I'm sorry. Um, we are working on a, a separate um, community that we can get to everyone, um, but for now, that's that's our community that you can jump into and have a look at um, our quick start guide, our, our help articles, our training videos, everything that you need to get yourself rolling is all here. You can always contact us in the mailbox, okay, create a ticket, um, and we will get back to you with, any of, uh, with answers to any of your questions. Okay, so I really appreciate everyone joining in. Jump in, have a play. Um, don't forget, the more you do with your homepage and, and let us know, show us, send us an email, you know, create a mailbox ticket with a screenshot, um, we'll go towards your, your points for the competition. Alrighty guys, so for those who are on holidays, I hope you're enjoying your holidays. Those who have holidays coming up, um, it's not too far away. Alrighty guys, so I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.